Hey guys, what's up? So today we've got a review video. Um, it's not really a diecast review because this model is pretty much all plastic except for maybe the uh, axles that the wheels are on. Um, so this is a newer um, model that Playmobil released. I, I want to say they released it sometime last year. Um, at least that's when I first started to see it was at the end of last year. Um, and it's something I've been wanting to review for a while, and, uh, I finally got my hands on one. So, uh, today we're gonna go ahead and look at one, and, uh, compare it with the older Type A that they made, and, um, just kinda go from there. So, uh, first thing we'll look at is the, uh, box. Um, this is the front of the box. You see it says Playmobil, City Life, um, and then you've got the bus uh, picture with your um, people, figurines, whatever you want to call them. Uh, got your bus driver and a few kids. And this actually comes with the bus driver and the kids and the stuff like that. Now, I do have to say Playmobil has always been pretty good about that. Even the, the older Type A they did had um, figurines with it. Um, and I want to say this is the third school bus they've done. They did one before the Type A that kind of looked like a... I, I want to say it was like a van bus um, from like the 70s or 80s. I'm not 100% sure on that one because I don't have it, but I have seen it around. Um, but this one, it, it's really cool. I think it, it looks great, at least from the pictures. I mean, it looks like a conventional. The body is great. The doors both open outwards. Um, you know, and just from what I'm seeing, it looks fantastic. So I'm excited to open it up. Uh, so we'll go ahead and look at the top of the box here. Um, you can see you've got the same image of the bus. And then there it's demonstrating uh, that the roof comes off to put your people inside. And then it just says City Life. So on the side we've got uh, the picture of the bus. And then on the other side um, you have that same picture of the bus. And then just small details um, on the product. And on the back cover, City Life. Um, and then the, the model number for the toy and then you've got all the different languages the box comes in and then you have your pictures here showing you the buttons to activate the warning lights because it does light up uh, stop sign and then the entrance door so that's pretty cool uh, the bottom has a picture of the bus and then everything that it comes with so you see you got, well you even got a fire extinguisher that's pretty cool uh, but you got the bus a fire extinguisher stop sign um, and then all the little accessories for the people, and then you have the people as well. Uh, so let's go ahead and, um, open it. Alright, so, let's see, how does this box open? Uh, it looks like there's some pull tabs on the side here to open it up, so we'll go ahead and pull those. Um, so like I said, I'm excited to see this, um, model or whatever, I don't know if you want to call it a model. I'd call it a model. Um, but anyways, I'm excited to see it because the pictures of it look really, really good. Let's see here. So here's the, here's the bus. Oh, it looks like you have to actually assemble it. That's interesting. Um, I'll set that there. Let's see. Yeah, look at that. You actually assemble the wheels and everything. Um, there's the decal sheets. Uh, there's your little manual. We'll look at that in a second. Here's all your people. And then... There's the roof. So, I didn't know that you had to kind of assemble it like that. But that's, I mean, that's interesting. So, this is the roof. You got the warning lights. Um, you got what I'm assuming are meant to be, or is meant to be a hatch, maybe not, I don't know, that's what it kind of looks like to me. And then there's the back of the bus. Um, you do have your little details, I think the little squares there are supposed to be clearance lights, but they're not colored. Um, so that looks pretty cool. Uh, let's see, we'll look at the people in a second. Let's go ahead and get the, uh, wheels together. So, they come together in this little bag. Um, and I'm assuming if we look at the the thing here, it probably, yeah. So this little uh, booklet shows you where 
everything needs to go or at least how the bus comes together so um, the bus actually has mirrors and like all this different stuff that you have to put on it um, and it shows you there like the different decals it comes with um, and then just how the bus actually goes together so um, that's pretty cool I feel like there's there's a little bit of a model making aspect to this I know it's not like intense like it's a whole model kit but um, there, I mean, there are just things you have to put onto it. Like, they even, they even left the taillights, stickers, and everything off, so you'd have to put them on, and I think that's a cool little feature, um, you know, for, to let the kid or whoever is building the model, it's more than likely going to be a, a kid and, and their parent, but to, you know, to put it together, so I think that's pretty cool. I mean, they even left the fender-mounted signals out for you to put in. Um... So, I guess I'll go ahead and put it together on camera, because uh, why not? So, let's take a look here. Um, wow, this is really cool, the way they did this, I, I do have to say. Uh, let's see, I'm doing this carefully so that nothing falls out onto the ground. Look at that, like even the center of the wheels you put together, that's crazy. I was not expecting it to be, like, this hands-on, honestly, and I think that's really cool. Let's see. Oh, that's interesting. So, earlier I said the, uh, axles were probably metal. They're not. It looks like it just mounts to the bus with this little plastic piece. So there's not a piece of metal on this model. Um, so that's interesting. Alright, let's put that right there. Okay. Alright. So I guess we just start off by popping these um, wheels into the, or the rims into the tires. Um, I don't know, I, I think this is so cool that you get to kind of build it. And it's not just, I mean, uh, the Type A, like, it would have been, you would have had it to where, like, the roof and the decal, like, you would have had to put the decals on and you would have had to snap the roof on but this is like this is different because you you literally are putting the entire thing together and i just i think that's so cool that they've you know they did it in a way that it's hands-on before you even get to like play with it um i don't know maybe that's just me but i think it's pretty cool because you don't you know there really aren't that many good school bus models like and i don't mean like die cast models i mean buildable models um out there i've seen one or two that's like a a dragster bus or something like that but i mean i mean like a realistic model like you just don't get that so this is i think this is pretty cool that they did that like this um so let's see get this last tire together here all right so Let's see how this works. Oh, huh, okay. So, let me try this first one out, and then I will show you what it's like on camera. So basically, what happens is, is you slide it up into the groove. So you take the plastic piece, and you fit it like this. Make sure that's getting it. And it just snaps in. Um, so that's that's really cool. And then the wheel goes on the rim. And then... God, the tire needed a little bit more there. Um, and I think it'll stay on there without the black centerpiece. But obviously we we want the black centerpiece on there. So it, you know, it looks correct. Um, so that's... This is awesome. I think they did a good job with this. Um, let's see. So there we go. Now time for the rear wheels. Let's get that. Do the other one. Now I don't know if this will disassemble. I'm, I don't know. I don't know if once you assemble it, you can't disassemble it, but um, I don't know for what reason somebody would want to disassemble it, but 
you know, I guess it, it is what it is. Um, let's see. Let's put those little black hubs in there. Let's see, where's that other one at? Alright, so the wheels are assembled on there. And that's, that's where we're at. Um, let's see. What's next? We got the decals and stuff, and the and all the little other pieces. Um, we're gonna go ahead into getting that built. So here's the little bag with the decals and the uh, other small pieces. Let's go ahead and take that out. So here you've got your stickers um, for your headlights, warning lights. Oh. Well, that's neat. You actually have stickers for the um, for the clearance lights, or yeah, that's that's awesome. And then you have your stop signs, and then your school bus signs, and of course you do have your two different options of what language you want it to be in. Um, and then there's your plate numbers. I'm probably not going to put plates on it, or the plates on it, because um, I don't know. I don't really, I don't really like that plate. Uh, anyways, we'll set the stickers right there for now. Uh, Let's see. So we got our little bag with the stop sign, fire extinguisher, the fender signals, and steering wheel, and whatever else is in there. Um, I'm not really going by the directions, because, I, I mean, I think a lot of it is self-explanatory. But, uh, let's see what we got here. I like how the stop sign is red. Let's see. We'll set the fire extinguisher there. Because first, we'll go ahead and do the fender mounted signals. Push that back a little bit. So, this is what the fender mounted signal looks like just a little circle. And um, it just pops right in. If I can get it to pop in, I might need to put some pressure on that. There we go. So, that's what the fender signal looks like. Um, kind of have to get it to pop in there. So, we've got those on there. Uh, interesting thing here is the stop sign and even the mount. I mean, it's not even on the bus. Um, we'll go ahead and do our stop sign stickers, Walt, before we put it on there. Let's see get this on there whoops so there we have one side whoa come on let's do the other side make sure it's going the right way because we wouldn't want that to be screwed up go so then we have got our stop sign then we'll put the mount in the side here let's see this might take looks like you kind of have to force it in there there we go and then uh, put this just clip the stop sign in and you got your stop sign I feel like the stop sign's a little far back, but that's probably because of how big the driver's window is. Um, so there, got the stop sign. Uh, let's see what's next here. Uh, steering wheel, so I'll snap the steering wheel in place. Let's see. I wonder if it'll actually... Let's see. I'm trying to do this on camera so you can actually see it go in place but let me see here oh that's interesting so now that's in place and it actually it does move it's got that little bar on the side so you can move it a little bit um, so that's pretty cool uh, let's see the fire extinguisher where does it go 
Oh, okay. I think it goes... I'm trying to see if there's... Oh, I see. So, there's a little um, X cross, whatever you want to call it. And it just... It sits down on top of it. Just like... Just like that. So, that's, that's a pretty cool little feature. So, you got your fire extinguisher in there. Let's see. Is there anything else in here? Yep. Got the body mounted mirrors. So there's the mirrors. Go ahead and put these on it. Let's see, is there a sticker for the mirrors? No, it doesn't look like there is. Okay. Let's see. So we'll do this side, just snap it in place. So that's pretty easy. Snap it in place. Got the mirrors on there. Alright, now it's time to do our tail lights and stuff on the roof cap. So let's go ahead and do that. Start with our school bus signs. Let's see if we get this in here correctly without it looking too crazy. There we go, so there's the front. Oh, well that was the, was it the front? Yeah, that was the front. Let's get this back here. Whoop. Try that again, don't want it to get. So there we go, there's our school bus signs and our little clearance lights. And then we'll go ahead and do our other clearance lights. Get them on their little square there. So yeah, um, I think Playmobil did a fantastic job with this. And for... I only paid $28 for this. And I, I think that is a great deal for what you're getting here. Um, honestly, let's see. I mean, it's a pretty sizable model, and you get the figures, and you get all the detail uh, that comes with it, the stickers and everything, and I just think, you know, that's, they did fantastic with this. Um, and I know this is meant to be more of a, a children's toy, uh, rather than an, like a, a collector's model. Um, but still a pretty cool piece, and I, I think that they did very well with the overall design of it. I mean, it looks like a classic American school bus. Um, to me, it kind of looks like... I mean, it kind of looks like an S-Series um, blended with maybe a 3800 and, you know, maybe something else. But it to me, I see um, International in the front end. Um but that's just, I mean, that's me. If if you had it and wanted it to be something else, that would be um, up to you. And, of course, it's not meant to look like anything because it's unlicensed. But uh, there we have all the uh, clearance lights on there. Um, let's see. Now I'll go ahead and do the headlights. Oh, I can get it to peel. One headlight. Let's see. Oh, that's a little messed up. Let's see if I can fix that. Because I know me, if I put these headlights on and they're a little screwy, I'm not going to be happy with it. Alright. So there we got the headlights on. I mean, they're not perfect, but they're they're on there. Um, okay, let's see. We'll do the tail lights now. Let's see. Let's get that in there. I notice this does not have reverse lights. That's a little odd, but 
to only be missing reverse lights, that's not too bad. I don't even think the... I don't even think the Type A had reverse... No, the Type A did have reverse lights. So there we go. There's your tail lights. Um, and I think that's it. I think you got four extra clearance lights in case you mess up. And then the other stickers I didn't use. And I'm, I don't think I'm going to put the plates on it. Um, I don't know. We'll see. I might. Um, so that's that's pretty much the bus. Um, I'll even snap the roof on. i got to put batteries in it so it'll actually light up for us. But for now, that's what it looks like with the roof and everything on it. I mean, it's. I, I feel like it looks very good for the size that it is. And, I mean, the, the entrance doors open up like entrance doors on a real bus. Um, they just, fantastic job with this. Um, we'll go ahead and take a quick look at the, uh, people, since some of you might want to see the, the people and the accessories that they come with. Let's see what we got here. Here's our bus driver. So, yeah, that's the bus driver. Uh, the arms move, and you can put them in a sitting position. Let's see. And then we have our different students. There's three students. You've got a girl, and then uh, two boys. And then you've got, let's see, what do we have in here? Um, I'm assuming this is maybe a hat of some sort. Got a lunch bag. Not really sure what this is, but this is a like a Oh, I see what it is. This is a let's see, how does this go? Snap that together. This is like a little sports bag or carrying bag. Mm, let's see. Does this go to something? Hmm. I don't know what that little piece is. Just getting all the pieces out at once here. Let's see. Mm, I don't know what some of these are. Some of these are, are... Oh, I see. I think. Let's see. Is this a backpack? This looks like a backpack to me. I'm wondering... It would pretty much go on like that. Like, I'm not going to spend too much time with the people, because that's not what this is about. But that's basically what it comes with. Uh, let's see what's in this little bag here. Looks like there's a pencil of some sort. Oh, and that is a hat for the driver. I can tell that. And it just looks like the other thing is also a hat for one of the kids. Um, so that is pretty much the gist of the people in the bus. I'm going to go ahead and put batteries in the bus and we'll light it up and I'll compare it with the uh, older model. Okay, so I got batteries in the bus, which obviously means this model does not come with its own battery. Or batteries, rather. Um, I swear that the old one did, because I remember like the old bus came in a box where you could push a button and watch it light up um but the thing that i just found out from from playing with it after getting the batteries in it um and, and i like this feature is when you light it up you just you press the button and then when you want it to stop you press the button whereas the older one was on a timer i don't, I don't know how long it ran maybe 30 seconds or something like that but you know if you're say a kid and you're playing with the bus you can hit it you know, pretend like you're doing a stop or whatever, pick up your kids, all that other stuff, and then stop it, you know, which I, I like the fact that they give you the ability to control it. Uh, here's a view from the back. And then just for the, the effect, we'll go ahead and open the doors and put out the stop sign, but... Um, so that's, I mean, that's, that's what it looks like, you know, with the lights on, stop sign out, doors open... 
um, and how it would be when you would be trying to put um, your kit, you know, the little characters or the kids on it. Um, so, all in all, they did a fantastic job on this. I mean, you've got the component of it where you're putting it together, the warning lights lighting up, um, the fact that you can stop and start them when you want to, and then you don't have to wait for the timer to run out. Um, and just all in all, this, I mean, this model looks fantastic. I mean, for a generic school bus that's meant to be a children's toy, I, I think they did a great job. I'm, and I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be, um, a, you know, the fuel door, uh, for where you would fuel it. Of course, there's not a door there, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that's what that's supposed to be. Um, so that's pretty cool. And then you've got whatever this is over here, which I, I think these little spots are just ways for them to keep the interior mounted in the body. Um, but either way, I mean, this bus, they, they did a fantastic job. Um, I'm going to pop the roof off, roof off so we can look inside again. Um, you got the fire extinguisher, steering wheel. Um, you even have your little um, your driver's area um, and then your seats. And... You know, this is basically how they would fit into the bus, is you'd put them here into the seat. And I think the hands maybe snap onto the the side of the seat, so that way they're in their stationary. But, I mean, that's basically what you're dealing with. You know, that's how you'd put the driver or the students in the bus. Um, so, you know, that's, I mean, it's it's a very nice toy. Um, I think they, they did a great job, and they put a lot of effort... Or at least I think they did more effort into this one than they did the last one. Um, all around, this is a great model. And it's definitely worth the money, I feel. Um, and, I, you know, I'm glad I got it because it's a, it's a really cool thing. And I, I think it's a, it, you know, if you like to collect this type of school bus toy or model, whatever you want to call it, um, I think it's a, a good purchase or a good addition to the collection. Um, so that's pretty much it for that. We'll go ahead and compare it with the older one. Um, now the older one doesn't have any batteries in it, so it's not going to light up. And this older one is the one I've had since probably 2011. So it's, it, you know, it's labeled, it, it, it has seen better days, let's just say that. Um, so it looks like the Type A is bigger, which doesn't make sense in a realistic standpoint, but they're just toys. Um, I do like the school bus signs better because it's it's in the Highway Gothic um, font. Uh, so I do like that better. And the warning lights light up exactly the same on here. How you have your ambers, reds, ambers, reds. Um, that's how it lights up on this one. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I, I, I wrote the Collins logo on the side of this bus. Um, anyways, that's what the two sides look to get, look like. And you can see what I mean, like this stop sign is white with the red background, which, I mean, that kind of looks realistic too, because the stop signs would have the white border. Um, but on here, the white border is on the sticker, and the stop sign itself is red. So I do like that. Um, it's the same amount of windows long, it's four windows long, which means it has uh, six total seats for kids. And then here's the back of the two buses. Like I said, this does not have reverse lights, but this one does. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, um, I, I feel like they work together. Obviously, they're not meant to be, uh, scale models. They're meant to be toys for kids. Uh, but I do think they, they work together, um, fairly well. And tell me if I'm wrong, but doesn't the back of this look like a Thomas? Um, it's probably really in the in the taillights and the way this is shaped back here, but it makes me look think of an older Thomas. Uh, but anyways, I'll I don't think I showed the underneath. That's what the bottom of the bus looks like. Uh, anyways, great little toy model, whatever you want to call it. Um, I think they did a fantastic job, as I've said, and I I recommend it. If you want to get one, definitely recommend it. I think it's worth the money, uh, and I think it's a cool. Um, bus model, toy, whatever you want to call it. Um, so with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, let me know what you think, and we'll go ahead and set it up and turn the lights on and everything um, so you can get that effect. I really like the fact that the, uh, the doors are outward opening. Um, so, yeah. Alright. 
Uh, that's going to be it. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Uh, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. And yeah.